You know, um, as most of you have seen, I've got this Kremlin Air Assisted Airless. And one of the things with it is the fact that I can spray upside down. I don't have a cup. I can get in, get around. So I got thinking about that and I said, you know, what can the average guy do? Because those things are pretty pricey. They do a nice job and again, we do it professionally so we have one. So I went out and I got to look. And I noticed Harbor Freight had a pressure pot. I think it's I think that with the gun and all it was like 60 bucks, something like that. And so I'm like, I wonder if this thing, I mean, I've used pressure pots. And basically what a pressure pot is, is you have an air hose and a fluid hose. Rather than having a cup, the material is put under pressure in the pot, forced through the line to the gun. So just like that Kremlin, you know, you can get in here and you can, that's only got about a six foot hose, but then again, I can take this and the other hand I can spray. So I grabbed some, this Minwax polyacrylic, just because it was there. And I thought, well, let's try. This is the first time I've used this, first time I've hooked it up. It's got a little valve here to cut your fluid on and off. You've got a pressure valve. Now I did play with it enough that I found about 18, 20 pounds of pressure, excuse me, on the gauge seemed to work out pretty good. Now just like all the other guns, this is our fan adjustment. This is our fluid and this is our pressure. Now I don't know how much pressure is on here because I just played with it and got it to where it was doing pretty good. Now this pressure here is actually what I'm assuming is pressurizing the fluid. But I do know one thing, but with that pressure on that, I was able to reduce the, reduce the fluid pressure. Okay, sorry. I was able to reduce the fluid pressure significantly. And I'm able to cut down on the pressure. Again, it's that thing of that pressure and behind that that's helping us atomize. Pressure behind the fluid. See how it does. Now I've got the fluid way down on this and the pressure way down. I'm getting virtually no overspray. Very little. And it's laying out a nice coat. I got no problem with that. And obviously, I wouldn't want to use this for paint, like latex paint or something, but uh, it did a pretty good job. Now one of the cautions, you always want to make sure that you release your pressure off your gun, I mean out of the tank before you unscrew it. The other thing with a pressure pot is that you're going to have fluid in this line, so you got to be careful cleaning it. There it goes. Fair amount of fluid, you know when you got pressure in that pot there's a fair amount of fluid again in this line. Got my arrows down. So, so, what, so you want to flush it really good. If you're going to store it for any period of time, what I used to always do is I would unhook the fluid line and in the case of water base, I would fill it with, uh, some, I'd flush it good and I'd fill it with some denatured alcohol and get a coupler and screw the two ends together so the hose was full of alcohol. I didn't, you know, that made sure it was clean, but make sure it's clean. Still got some pressure on there, so it's still tight. But anyway, 
I think that's a pressure release. Yeah. Can you hear it? It's letting the pressure off. Worked pretty good, I thought. Again, this thing is about access. So then, while I'm shopping at Harbor Freight, <laughs> I mean, if it's spray guns and stuff, I got it. I mean, I got to try them. So I found this little guy. I don't even remember how much it was. It was like, it was far less, it was like $15 or so. And I'm looking at this saying, you know, that would be a neat little gun, you know, like what we've shown using some of the lacquers to do a top, final top coat or something. And I'm thinking, you know, that'd be a neat little gun for small projects or, you know, tight areas getting up inside with a die. And you can, I got it on a little tight, but you can angle this thing all kind of different positions. And it's just a little gravity, side gravity fit. And this is like a 1.0 needle nozzle. Again, here's your pressure regulator. Now, I'm going to be honest, I don't play with this one. And this is, this is the same polyacrylic. I wouldn't want to use that for a big project, but I'm going to tell you what. That, sprayed a nice, that little gun sprays nice. Then here, this is that, they had a, yeah, I went nuts at Harbor Freight. <laughs> they got this, somebody was asking me about the two-piece, the, the professional one. They've got the professional, this is the professional, what they're calling a professional, and it comes as a kit, but the little one, this one works and we know it. Then we have our regular gravity feds that we've shown you. And uh, we all know they work fine. But this little guy, again, this is about access. So I'm looking for the small guns. I found it interesting. I was on, on the uh, pressure pot, I was looking at the instructions and they got all the knobs wrong. You know, what they're saying does, you know, the, the fluid knob and, and the fan knob, and all, it's labeled all wrong, but you know. It does pretty good too. I actually, believe it or not, I actually think this little guy sprays better than this guy. Seem to be getting more fluid. Now, let me try it again. I had the fluid knob in. Oh yeah, there we go. It does pretty good. That's pretty neat. You know, and I, I, I think I showed y'all this while I was there. Uh, this is for the gravity feds. This is the disposable cups. I know I've shown it to you, but I'll show it to you again. And the other thing they had, now this doesn't work in a uh, gravity fed, but they make the little cup liners if you're using a, like, a, you know, a conventional type gun, bottom cup gun, like one of the Apollos or something. They work. That's, you know, access. My opinion, right here, um, again, just the fact that I don't have that cup, these two would be my favorites right here for getting in tight spaces. I think, I think if I had to make one choice among these for a sprayer, I, I'd go with the pressure pot. Now here's the other thing. If you take, like this is the Apollo atomizer here. 
And if you look, the mine's a little dirty. I can hook an air line here. I can hook a fluid line here. I got it. I mean, I can hook up a high-end gun using the low-end pressure pot. So there's a lot of options out there. You just kind of got to think about it a little bit. But I thought you would enjoy seeing that. Uh, so I just, I bought them so we could play. All right, guys, accessing. Hope there's some alternatives.